for watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. The Noto Summer Concert Series returns with another great edition this Friday night. Stacy Dawn Ogle with Noto is here with Stephanie Nassif. She is one half of Project 11 who will be taking to the stage. Thank you both for being here. Appreciate this. Yeah, thanks Thank for having you. us. We have been loving the Noto Summer Concert Series, Stacy. So what have you been trying to pull together and how does Project 11 kind of play into that? Well, we have been really strategic in trying to bring a different kind of um, experience to the Topeka community with the concerts that we have put together over the summer. So um, early on, we had some, um, um, we had Maria the Mexican with some Hispanic music. We had Hector Anchondo uh, with some blues, and we've got Project 11 coming up this Friday with some jazz. And so really, we just want to be able to um, bring some diversity to the music scene and also give you guys an experience that you haven't had before. And with that, we also um, showcase some emerging youth musicians. All right, so start with the opening act. We'll get to Stephanie in a sec, but tell us about the opening act. Yes, so our opening act is a keyboard pianist. His name is Luke Scheibmeier. He's a young um, blind musician and he goes to school at Washburn Roll. He has performed for us a couple of other times over the last couple of years, so it's not quite new to him, but the experience is always um, beneficial for these kiddos. Give them a chance to practice their stage performance, perform in front of a bigger crowd, and just really give them the experience of what it's like to do a professional concert. It'll be fun to hear from him. I've, I've heard him a few times around town, too. He is very, very impressive. Very talented kiddo. Yes, and so then that all warms up everyone, no pun intended, if we've been watching <laughs> Jeremy's forecast. Stephanie, for Project 11, so tell us a little bit about you and your partner in this musical effort and, and how you would describe your sound. Well, um, I am working with Paul Hunt. He's a, an amazing blues guitarist out of Wamigo. And um, it turns out that my husband knew him uh, back in college, <laughs> so kind of small world. Um, but we got together and kind of pooled our uh, musical knowledge and experiences. And uh, we'll be bringing you some Latin jazz, some jazz standards, some, oh gosh, some lo-fi, um, <laughs> blues. So uh, uh, I really took Stacy's uh, mantra to heart and it's things that you will not usually hear in, in Topeka. So, so yeah, you say jazz and blues, but what kind of twist do you put on it that kind of is, is unique to you? Well, um, we're a two piece and um, it's going to sound like a full band. <laughs> so nice. um, I'm also a producer, so I have created um, our backing band for us. So um, that's a little different <laughs> also. So. Um, yeah, Paul plays bass and guitar, I play keyboards, I sing, I play bass and clarinet, and then also... Um, clarinet yes. thrown in there, why not? <laughs> why not? I love it, I love it. Okay, now I need to hear it. What do you love about performing in a place like Noto, and oh, in, an, wow. in a park and outdoors? It, it's just such a relaxed and free feeling, and um, the, the people are just really great there. I've, I've been to a couple of the concerts uh, this season and, and the sound is amazing and, and of course Stacy is great to work with. So <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's just a neat place to be. <laughs> and the people are right there. Yeah. How does that yeah. add to the experience as a performer to have them, you know, there are no lights blinding you from being able no. to see them. They're right out there in their lawn no, chairs. It, it's great because as performers we watch their reactions and, and that helps us, you know, and, and to gauge the, the audience and, and um, it's, it's really neat. I, I enjoy it. So. Stacy, what else can people maybe visit or see and do when they're in Noto Friday night for the concert? I know it's not first Friday, but you still always yeah. have lots of things open and, and going on. Yeah, lots of businesses will be open. Restaurants will be open late. You can get something to drink at Norseman, at the Wheelbarrel, Studio 62. Compass Point is also going to have some live music, so they're doing live music every Friday. Um, some of the businesses will be open late for you to shop. Um, Odin's Lair has late night axe throwing and they did this really cool <laughs> glow throws, like glow in the dark <coughs> throws. So always something to see. Of course, we've got lots of public art outside and a new sculpture to enjoy. So definitely something for everyone and the concert's free. Uh, yeah, we love that. Free is always good. Yeah, and do you have anything on display inside the Arts Center at this time? We do. We have a new exhibit called Three Sisters. And so it's a Native American exhibit. And it tells the story of the three sisters that are um, familiar to Topeka. So we'll be open. You can check it out. Um, we're always open throughout the week, though. So if you can't make it down this Friday, you can come check us out anytime. Well, we hope everybody comes to meet Stephanie and hear <laughs> the music and to hear Luke. If you haven't hear, heard Luke, 
amazing, amazing young talent. Again, the Noto Summer Concerts. Is this the last one? You got one more left. We have one more left. One more left. So don't miss out. <laughs> Project 11 is part of the Noto Summer Concert Series with opening act Luke Scheibmeyer from Washburn Rural High School. 7 to 10 o'clock Friday in Redbud Park, 924 North Kansas Avenue. These are always free for your family to come and enjoy. Stacy, Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you and appreciate you being with us today for Ion Northeast Kansas. Keep in mind, if you miss any of our segments, you can see them on our WIVW News YouTube channel. All the videos are there. Plus, if you can't watch, you can listen in the car on our Ion Northeast Kansas podcast. We recap the week.